40 v bucks available in the 108 zone that's all the v bucks we have today and i'm gonna warn you this is the very last day of ventures oh i'm recording this at midnight so my lights just shut off if you guys have not finished ventures yet this is your last chance you got about 16 hours if you're wondering when this new season starts this uh weekly shop when that changes over that is the new season so no matter what your time zone is the time remaining in the upper left of these missions here is basically a ventures season countdown and v bucks uh on a daily basis are going to to decrease i'm just gonna rip that band-aid off for you guys right now so you're not surprised i'm certain i'll get complaints anyway but we are currently in a mini boss season or we have been and this next season will be a mutant season meaning every four player mission is going to be nature so bust out your fire weapons hey nocturno users myself included might uh, swap that to fire just expect less v bucks and less overall missions and then i did also update the timeline today archer gave me this information forever ago he's awesome i just forgot because it's all unconfirmed anyway and this is kind of what we got so we think there might be no modifier in the lead but then he gave me a 12 week layout during an 11 week season so uh i just feel like we're gonna get hasty husks right away and then all of these we've seen before but these last four not space storm surge windswept and smog of war are all new modifiers i will talk about them as they come out we don't even need to be discussing this right now but uh, at the back end of uh, uh survive the horde we'll, we'll get all that and i will update this as we know more blakebeard's coming out good stuff just a little heads up on the v bucks there and reminder for my end game players go get your weapon supercharger uh, with the weekly shop reset you know ventures aside it is a normal weekly reset and you will lose that weapon supercharger i'll be live tomorrow i want to say it's a big stream but i'm done with ventures i've got two 160s to run one v buck today and i i guess i can mess around in dungeons just to fill out a stream but this probably won't be one of my 10 hour grinds i i don't have a lot to do this is like a lot a lot of this is like the last day of school in a weird way like i don't really have much to take care of much to wrap up i might save my energy because it's funny the horde survive the horde is gonna be coming out at shop which for me is 7 p.m so that's like already in the evening and that's uh that's a thing but grotto daily is is there if you guys want to go get some battle pass xp super worth it dungeons are still here and this is the very last day for cram session i have been cramming this down everybody's throat go do your your safes quest it is so easy it takes less than two hours that's generous honestly if you know what you're doing and you follow the steps and you go through inferno quickly you can do it in less than an hour it's 10 thousand gold plus the perk up that you get if you collect the uh, the the chests on the side and I don't need to tell you guys how good 10,000 gold is, but I mean, that's the hero loadout slot right there. If you guys are interested in picking up everything that's available while it's here, last chance to grab it. The main video on my channel, I'm going to have to mute myself in a second here, is uh, walking through everything of importance. Chaos Agent is the biggest one to grab. I, I think he's the, the best thing that's available right now. Uh, everything else is pretty skippable, but Anti Cuddle is good for some melee builds. Fallen Love Ranger has fallen from Grace, but I still i'm holding holding on to hope that that's not a not a permanent change so um yeah yeah that's basically all of the uh the things to look out for but new season tomorrow now in line with my little metaphor of this being the last day of school uh, epic has not given us a lot of homework today we have uh, a few okay missions we'll talk about them i'm obviously 12 hours late i didn't have a guest today that's fine it happens or i, I, I guess i didn't ask yoltron sorry to him but by the time Archer confirmed that he couldn't do it, I was so close to just getting home anyway. And I really wanted to say all this out of my own mouth. So I'm, I'm here. I'm here for you guys, even though it's freaking midnight and I want to go shower and sleep. <laughs> but here we are. So Ventures, we do have a legendary survivor. Thrasher is insane. Campfire. Obviously, none of this matters because you've finished Ventures. You can't even run these lower level missions. OK, I know better. Broadside, crazy good trap. The walls. Oh, my God. The cannonballs bounce, everybody. OK, the cannonballs bounce you need a broadside to be facing a wall or another broadside that's good too the cannonballs bounce people don't shoot them off into nothing fleetfoot's really good for running around quickly and um yeah we have one upgrade llama available in the 70 zone all i can show from here though is just that the uh, 140s 4x lighting the bottle and 4x drops are both good 369 reperk is nice as well so uh yeah that's it for ventures i guess as much as i can show entwine pressure cutter that is a weapon that is 
better than you might think. I think I have a standard Toy Rock and Out build set up. I do. Yeah. Uh, this literally exact build. I'm not going to show every hero individually because it's not a loadout, but this is just Assassin's Era. Toy Rock and Out, basic, basic perks on, like, just this, this is what a standard Toy Rock and Out endgame loadout looks like. And Pressure Cutter, actually, really good for that. I'll even show the perks. Like, I've been saying this weapon's trash for years, and that's just, uh, that's based on nobody ever vouching for it. But AS407 is a melee expert in our community, and he said the Husk Cleaver is not only identical to the Pressure Cutter, but the Pressure Cutter just has more impact. And with these perks and that build I just showed, I know it's weird. Crit damage, attack speed, but you can see with Wideout Fiona, you're up to a 32.5%. So, like, you're critting plenty of, uh, plenty often, and the Affliction's insane on melees, as we all know. It's a good weapon. Like, Kind of A tier, uh, at least with that build. Um, a lot of weapons can be buffed by that build. In fact, he, this freaking dude, when I say he's an expert, I trust his opinion. And I Corey perked my Black Blade and actually ran this. And it was fine. It was honestly fine. It. I don't know how much of that was the Black Blade and how much of that was the loadout. Same thing could be happening with the Pressure Cutter where it's not that amazing of a weapon, but that build buffs it. I don't care anymore. Whatever, it's a good build. 4x perk up in the 88.4 player. Yeah, I don't have a lot to talk about today, so I'm just rambling about a weapon that's kind of good. Anyway, 4x legendary perk up in the 108.4 player. I like to mention that stuff because I've personally been overlooking it for years. You probably have too, and eh, it's kind of a surprise. G Ceiling gas trap in the 108 zone. Great trap for doing good damage. Uh, 4x lightning bottle in the 116.4 player. Uh, a lot of reperk, by the way. You run these both of these missions, and you'll have a whole perk to, to swap over there. 4x reperk in the 124.4 player, plus epic perk up. And then we got the high zones uh, for the end game here. 4x lighting the bottle, and then, yeah, epic perk up, epic perk up. I mean, that's 512 just sitting for you. Uh, that's not accurate, is it? 530? I don't care. I don't want to do math right now. It's more than that. 5 uh, x reperk, repair the, sh repair the shelter, super easy modifiers, super easy mission, and then 5x drops rain, ride the lightning, smoke screen, so you might want to use a melee, maybe uh, bust out that pressure cutter, huh? Canny, just a couple of things to mention here. 4X lighting bottle in the retrieve the data. There we go. For <laughs> Llama token in the 70 zone. Second out of uh, three available today. And the last one's in uh, Plankerton here. Plankerton's kind of stacked, by the way. Reaper Scythe is a hard-hitting, slow-swinging melee. Room Sweeper is a fast-firing, big mag shotgun. One of the best shotguns in the entire game. It's fully automatic. Super satisfying weapon. Our final upgrade Llama token is in the 23 fight the storm. And then we got 4X reperk in the 28-4 player. And 4X lightning bottle plus rare perk up in the 34-4 uh, player there we go so i saved battle royal oh i didn't mention the daily llama it's range weapon it's boring i didn't mention battle royal because there's really like nothing new at all uh the only thing that's of any note is that Korra is available now which is tight i absolutely that's actually really good art can i get that as like a background image oh i can wow that's sweet. I love the different elements in, in play there. I love Legend of Korra, Avatar. I am probably going to have to... Uh, I'm probably going to have to play BR for some of this. So I'm talking about that Wednesday stream. Maybe I can knock out the stuff I have left to do in like my 160s or whatever. And maybe we can just do some BR. Unlock Korra until the new season starts. That could be kind of fun. Um, that could be kind of fun. But I'm definitely also here to say... Uh, sorry. I... I, I kind of forgot <laughs> to say thank you to everybody who is using my code and we're just going to go through all of these a little quickly, but if you ever want to be featured, dude, what the hell? Just ping me maybe uh, 10 times using my code and I'll I'll be sure to say thank you. I really do appreciate it. Can't wait for it. That's not how you spell school to end. I just want to hang out in the Discord. Only reason, yeah, this Discord's awesome. I honestly was thinking about how many people use this community and how Hangout is like literally labeled not a Fortnite channel because so many Fortnite players are in here and that's awesome. But um, wait, what? Thanks for liking my user beast. What? Oh, she's, she's not my wife, but <laughs> the girlfriend liked wet mochi's username and and, um, and I, I told him that, so. <laughs> I appreciate you using my code and cute little squirrel hiding in the bag there as well. <laughs> Just reminded me. When I called the kitten snake food, that was so fucked up and it still makes me laugh. I don't think I offended anybody with that, but I love it. By the way, if you guys want to, like, connect with me in any way at all, I'm not usually, um, I don't usually put out these feelers, but I am, like, wholeheartedly addicted to monkey city right now this is not a sponsor i know i've been taking some mobile game sponsors lately and that's been awesome making more money is sweet and you guys engaging with those sponsors has been awesome in fact a lot of you guys have actually enjoyed those games which is great i just awesome for everybody sponsors happy i'm happy your guys are happy everybody's winning 
But right now, Bloons Monkey City is just a relic from my past, and I have gotten all into this game after nine years, and a couple of you guys have gotten in there with me, and I just it's been having fun, been having a fun time. My normal VIP is just me and Storm God going back and forth about Bloons Monkey City. It's just been fun. It's just been really fun. And he sent me an egg, so thank you, Goobers. Advanced CG starter pack, yeah! Like an advanced CG. That sponsor has not gone anywhere. I don't have my shaker. It's on the other side of my monitor but yeah the starter kit you can still build it on the site which is pretty cool so um yeah i haven't seen anybody do this in a while because they they upped the price but i think if you just click starter kit uh-huh uh-huh and then you build your starter kit you can support your creator and just select beast which is like i didn't even know that was there i don't like that this is five dollars i that should be a dollar or fucking free but Anyway, I don't set the prices, and I really appreciate picking it up. Uh, these are some delicious flavors, and I'm glad you agree. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to get 10% off your purchase and support me, because I get part of your purchase, uh, VCG, link down below. That's a, that's a channel sponsor, not a short-term one, and I'm a genuine fan. I I like that stuff. That is, again, Cake Man just being insane. I see you, Cooper. Just, you guys, I really appreciate it. Ninja Frog, our local Subway uh, manager, I, uh, I thank you guys so much for supporting me, because been great so uh yeah i'm actually really excited for the next season it's cool because it's perfect i've been on break as you guys know i have not been posting like regular new videos uh outside of just like uh, updates with uh reminder videos and the the xp guide but because i've been saving all my energy and just kind of uh, taking a step back from uh, every other day content creation it has uh built up a lot of a lot of energy for horde mode, so I'm just really hoping they're, uh, they, they addressed our claims and made the mode fun. Archer in the files seems to be pretty confident that things are going to be good, and I'm just looking forward to it. Horde mode should be a lot tougher this season with four bases instead of three, higher difficulty, harder enemies. I'm looking forward to it. You can't cheese the crystals with a xenon bow. It's going to be a good time. I'll see you guys then.